trust breakdown has been quite enormous. The trust uh, between the Greek government and the creditors, I mean, they're both calling each other blackmailers, uh, and that's going on right up to the moment. And I don't see how that's very conducive uh, for a better dialogue. So many questions still when we were hoping by the end of this week to have been reporting that actually we had some form of accord and there was progress going forward. But I'm afraid to say it's all left hanging in the balance. Day of crisis in Greece. Just to recap, banks, they've been shut. Greek citizens, they've been lining up around the block for withdrawing uh, of cash from ATMs, despite the 60 euro withdrawal limit. This happening a day after the Greek Prime Minister Tsipras declared that he will put the creditors bailout plan to a public referendum with the question being asked of the Greek people, do you support the deal on offer from our European creditors? Well, speaking earlier in Brussels, the European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker urged the Greek people to vote yes in this weekend's referendum. I feel a little betrayed because not enough consideration is being given to my personal efforts and the efforts of others. Greece has just 17 hours to hand 1.6 billion euros to the IMF. If it can't, Athens will fall into arrears. But there is still hope. New reports this morning suggest European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker has put a last-minute offer on the table, even as Alexis Tsipras indicated he will resign if Greeks choose to accept the bailout deal. I don't believe they want to throw us out of the euro, or that they will. The cost of a bankruptcy of a country which has an EC be exposure of more than 120 billion euros is massive. It won't happen. That's my estimation. We are now effectively in default as far as Greece is concerned. How does it feel in Athens this morning? Well, I think it was pretty well telegraphed for what would happen. But you know, as far as the people are concerned, this is the morning after a huge rally last night by the people in support of the yes vote. This is yes to further negotiations. But you know, there's a lot of people here voicing concerns, even in the last 48 hours or so, MPs and people that are concerned that the no vote is pulling ahead. Meanwhile, the IMF are just throwing petrol on the flames, saying the, uh, that Greece needs another 60 billion euros in new aid over the next three years to fill a huge black hole in the country's finances. Uh, both a blessing and a curse for Alexis Tsipras, the fund has called for comprehensive debt relief while also pointing the finger at Syriza for overseeing the economy's decline. This is a source tells CNBC that Greek banks are down to their final 500 million euros in cash reserves.